if you find yourself there, right, whether, going back for a second, so like if he's just in side control, right, and he starts doing his normal out the back, okay, and he gets his underhook on you, right, and I find myself chasing that head here in order to stay on top, right, that's one situation you might end up here, okay, very common situation that you'll end up if somebody's really trying to do an out the back and get to that single, okay. Um, right now we're just going to work it off this butterfly sweep just so we can use it. So half guard, please. So again, he's in a nice high half guard. He might be trying his, uh, you know, passes from here, setting up his passes. So I'm going to control that hip, shrimp out, tuck the foot in, and make that space I need. Start popping up. This is where I was saying your head's not going to be in a positive position necessarily if he's doing the right thing, right? Normally I don't want their head underneath mine. I want my head under his. Okay, but I'm only using an overhook here. I don't have an underhook. The nice part is his hand is inside my bicep. So I've already got it trapped, right? So all I gotta do is control this side, not let his hand to the ground, and I've got my sweep. Okay? So I've already lost the underhook. I gave it up when I gave up the sweep. So I'm gonna wrap that head, sit through. Right, now I don't wanna stay here, okay? I've got a couple of attacks I can do on this far arm. We'll work on those another day. But for right now, I wanna, I wanna get out of here to a better control position. Because for somebody who feels comfortable on the bottom here and doesn't panic, all he's got to do is about a half a shrimp to get my weight up his ribs. He doesn't even have to push on That's all he needs. Okay, I can lift my weight as hard as I want right now. I'm no longer going to be putting nearly the pressure I was. Right, so once I get this sweep, my inside arm is going to start looking for the ground between his leg and the ground. Okay, usually their leg's not going to be flat. Usually it's going to be up, right, trying to shrimp. Exactly. So I'm trying to drop underneath that arm. Okay, so I'm gonna hold that head on, the, on his leg. I'm gonna start leaning back, looking for that leg, and then I'm gonna bail on the head in order to turn to a double here on the leg. Yep, he can push on the head, that's fine. Now we're starting to battle into side control. Right, but I'm turning from the head to the legs in order to not lose the position. If I'm in this position, I start coming to his head, I'm giving him the out. He's already up, right, onto his knees with an underhook attacking him. Right, so I don't wanna take that that pressure off. I want to turn towards his legs. Make sure I'm below his leg. I can sit here as long as I need to with my weight in his ribs. Okay, this is going to be a miserable position and the harder it holds on to me, the more this is going to suck. Especially once I turn my weight over. Right? You can see he's already pushing me down his body to relieve that pressure. Does that make sense? So I don't need to be in a hurry as long as my butt stays off the ground and I'm connected to him. Yes? Mm -hmm. So do the half guard sweep. End up in our case of position here. I'm over top of his arm. Now you get a lot of guys and wrapping their arms around your body, right? And this is what I show you guys to do too, right? Because then he can start attacking with all of his escapes. Well, I don't want to let that happen. I walk away, start looking for that leg. Here. Make sure that his leg stays below my knee so when I come to side control, I'm not climbing into his half guard. Cool? Questions? Wait, wait, one, two, three.